lesson is about progress check. In this lesson, students read for specific information, consolidate vocabulary from the module, revise conditionals, and write for and against the same. Let's have a look on progress check on page 87. Complete exercises. Let's begin with the first one. Now, you are going to read this text and after reading you are going to complete this exercise by choosing one of the best answer, A, B, C or D. You are not going to complete exercise 2. Let's go on with page Let's start with page 88. You are going to listen exercise 3 and complete after listening. Good morning. Sorry. Now, listen. Six. Exercise 3, page 88. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the lecture. My name's Martin Crane and I'm the chief writer for Connected, an online technology magazine. Before I begin, I'd like to thank your professor for inviting me to talk to you. I got my degree from here, so it's been a great pleasure to be on campus again. Today I'd like to speak to you about social networking sites. According to the latest statistics, over 80% of university students use at least one social networking site daily. In comparison, just 40% email regularly. Where once the email took over from the letter, it now seems that social networking sites have taken over from email. Social networking sites are now the main means of online communication for university students, and indeed for huge sections of society around the world. There are numerous advantages to using social networking sites. As we all know, they are invaluable for keeping in contact with friends and family, especially those that live far away. And what makes social networking services special is that you can communicate not only through text, but also by uploading photographs and even videos of your experiences. Depending on how much you update and what you include on your profile page, Family and friends can know a huge amount about what's going on in your life. But despite all their advantages, there are a number of disadvantages to social networking sites. For one, there is the issue of privacy. Of course, most social networking sites allow you to block unknown users from your personal profile page, but even if you only allow friends access, you should still never give out personal information like your home address or phone number. If this information gets into the wrong hands, you could become the victim of identity theft, credit card fraud, or even worse. The other issue I'd like to discuss is social networking addiction. Of course, the issue isn't as serious as drug or alcohol addiction, but it still deserves our attention. One survey suggests that 20% of university students spend more than four hours a day on social networking sites. This is far too much and can cause students to fall behind in their studies. Also, social networking addiction can cause people to spend less time socializing with people in person. Remember, the few friends you meet face to face are more important than the hundreds of friends you have online. Having said this, I still believe that social networking sites are well worth joining. I'm a user myself and often spend half an hour here or there exchanging news with friends and family. But like anything on the internet, it's important for users of all ages to use their common sense and be careful online. Now, after listening, you are going to complete exercise 3. Let's go on with exercise 4. Put the verbs in bracket into the correct tense. If you can see here, all sentences are with if. It means that you are going to use conditional sentences. Huh? Type 1, 2 and 3. Even 0. Huh? Be careful. Let's go on with exercise 5. In exercise 5, you are going to consolidate all the vocabulary used or learned in this module. You are going to put this vocabulary into this blank space. And exercise 6. 
it's not for you. Thank you. That's all for today.